grab a cardboard lid or large box and open it so it lies flat. Cut out the flaps or excess sides. And if you are using scissors, fold it over the sides to make it easy to cut through. Use a ruler to mark a straight edge to trim it down. Then put the button on the table and place the cardboard on top to use it as a guide for cutting. Then add hot glue one line at a time along the smallest side, placing the button directly on top and patting it down to secure it. Repeating the process until batting and cardboard are united as one, like a marriage but for crafting. Then lay a piece of fabric beneath the cardboard piece and flip the cardboard so the batting is facing the fabric. Measure about 4 inch around the board. Cut the fabric to that size and clean up any rugged edge. Iron it so it's smooth. Then ensure that your board is in the middle of the piece of fabric so it can be folded over evenly. Once you are happy with its placement, add glue to the cardboard. Add it in sections so it doesn't cool off when working in larger areas. And then go back and secure all edges. Making sure to glue the rest of the fabric strip too not only the cardboard, since this will make the next part way easier. After you make a triangle up to the edge of the cardboard, add some glue in a vertical line against the cardboard, and then add more glue on the fabric on the diagonal side, and press it down, stretching the fabric as you do this so it doesn't bulge in the front. Adding additional glue as needed to make sure that it's tight around the back and all of the edges are secured. Then grab your ribbon and decide how do you want to hang your board. Remember not to make it too long unless you want it to choke. Once you're ready, cut it with real scissors. Then grab an edge of the ribbon and glue it down placing it so that it's facing up and if you're a little paranoid like me add even more glue on top but just don't overdo it after you let the glue cool and flip it around you will see a fair and push board ready to decorate add the ribbon to make a diagonal line leaving about two extra inches on the tip for folding over Adding another ribbon piece to make it an X shape. Once you're ready, glue at the intersection so you can pull and make sure that it's tied around the edges. And adding additional ribbon pieces in an across shape. And then add a dot of glue under the edge of the ribbon to hold in place. Then flip the board over and glue the tips of the ribbon. Afterwards, let it dry and flip it back to have the front facing you. Then open your paper stapler so that it's flat and pick an area around the ribbon where you would like for it to act as a stopper for your notes or your pictures so they don't slide off. And push your stapler to get the ribbon, fabric and plush as best as possible and you'll see a light dip on where it is that you stapled. And then after you're going to cover those spots with some details, some little knickknacks, anything that makes you happy, just add it at random. And in our case, I thought it'd be cute to add little accents so that it looked like little flowers were flying towards, well, butterflies were flying towards the flowers. So once you're ready, go ahead and glue those on and push it down so that they'll stay in place and you'll have a beautiful organizer for all of your plans for the new year. And if you'd like to customize your planner, watch my mom's video so she can show you how to make a cover for it. Thank you for watching and she'll see you there.